in today's video I will be giving you a tour of my kitchen so as you enter my kitchen this is what you will see these here are my kitchen counters and as you could see they're not overcrowded with a lot of stuff on top of them now what I have here is just the things that I use on daily basis like my coffee maker my coffee pots my sugar and my cream I also have a toaster I have my cutting boards and I also have the utensils that I need for cooking This is the decoration that I have on the upper part of my kitchen cabinets. On this little open section that you see here, I have used food for decoration. I have these containers that I bought from IKEA and I am displaying all of my pasta. Now let's take a look at my upper kitchen cabinets and I will start with the kitchen cabinets which are all the way to the left side of the kitchen and I'm going to be moving my way all the way to the right. This cabinet is on top of my oven and it's all the way up there. In here I am storing things that I don't use that often. For example, I have all of my baking molds, all of the cake molds, everything that I use for baking is all the way up here. And I don't use this that often because I only bake cakes and do desserts whenever it's somebody's birthday or for a special occasion, so it's not that often. This cabinet that you see here is what they call a European style cabinet. It's long and it's narrow. In here I am storing some of my pantry items I have the two different types of sugar, the brown sugar and the white sugar. I also have different types of flour. I also have rice. I also have the instant oats. I have also a little basket that has onions and garlic and also a little basket that has potatoes. And this is my other European style kitchen cabinet. In here I am storing all of my small kitchen appliances and some small kitchen gadgets. Now let's take a look at the bottom kitchen cabinets and kitchen drawers. Again I am going to go from the cabinets and the drawers which are located on the left hand side of the kitchen and I'm going to work my way to the right. This is the drawer that is storing all of my plastics, all of my Tupperwares and it has foam board divisions which I did myself. If you're interested on the video, I will link that video in the description box below. On this drawer here, I am storing all of the water bottles, all of the bottles for the soda machine, the little pitcher for the coffee and some other pitchers to store juice or drinks. This is a long and narrow cabinet that I have in between my oven and my stove. In here I am storing all of my pantry items. On this white basket I am storing all of my homemade marmalades. On this red tray that you see here I have aluminum foil, I have the cling wrap, I have plastic bags to store food and uh, wax paper. On this section that you see right here I have gelatin, I have uh, dessert making packs as well as soups. Now on this section here I have my baking things. For example I have baking powder, I have cinnamon, cardamom, spices for cooking. On this section right here I have all of my cooking spices. Now this section was custom made because the, uh, the shelf actually pulls in and out for easy access. Now on this bottom shelf right here I have my dessert sauces like chocolate sauces, I have agave and I have syrup for pancakes. 
but my heart still beats When I say no, it's yes I'm putting you to the test Can you handle me? Do you have the key? Sorry that I've been playing games Do you really have what it takes? I guess so, I guess so I guess so, I guess so This is the bottom section of that same cabinet, like I told you before, this cabinet is long and narrow and on each of the shelves I have two baskets, now each of the baskets is holding food items. Here is a little drawer that actually pulls out, it's like a little shelf drawer and uh, it's in between my oven and my stove in the first part here that you see on the top i have ketchup i have mustard i have the hot sauces i have soy sauce and um, some other sauces and then on the bottom i have cooking oils and i also have vinegar this drawer that you see here is my cutlery drawer and uh, this was a DIY. I made foam board divisions for all of my cutlery. As you could see, I have two sets. And uh, this is so easy to make. So if you're interested in learning how to make it, I will be linking the video in the description box below. This drawer that you see here is designated for drinks. In here I have my tea packets, I have different types of coffee, I also have the syrups for the soda machine and some other uh, powdered drinks. In this drawer I am storing all of my dried food items, for example I have lentils, garbanzo and some other dried food items that I'm storing here. The cabinet that you see here is a bottom corner blind kitchen cabinet. In this cabinet, I am storing all of my cooking pots as well as some trays. These are serving trays. And this that looks like a kitchen cabinet is not a kitchen cabinet, is my dishwasher. Now as you could see there are things inside of the dishwasher because I clean as I go. Like for example every time I have a cup of coffee or tea or we have our breakfast, we rinse them and we put them inside of the dishwasher so when we reach the night time and we have our dinner this dishwasher is practically full and then we just put it to wash. This section that you see here is the under the kitchen sink cabinet. In here I am storing all of my large kitchen appliances as well as I have a little basket that is uh, storing my dishwashing soap and my dishwashing uh, sponges. And then below the under the kitchen sink cabinet which is exactly where you step to wash the dishes. I have this cute little rug, which is uh, for decoration and it's also something cushiony when you're standing there and you're washing dishes. And these are the little drawers which are in between my sink and my refrigerator. Now in this drawer here, I am storing kitchen utensils and as you could see, I have a foam board divider. This was a DIY and I will be linking the video in the description box below if you're interested in learning how to make it. In this other drawer that you see here, I have my baking uh, measuring cups, measuring spoons and spatulas and also the little clips for the bags. Inside of this drawer, I have a whole bunch of small kitchen gadgets. And in this drawer, I also have a whole bunch of small kitchen gadgets. Now follow me to the opposite side of my kitchen. On this side of the kitchen, 
I purchased this wardrobe system, which is this closet that you see here, the white one. And uh, this one is intended for people to store their clothes. So what I did is that I removed the bars and I put shelves inside. In here, this is my breakable cabinet. In here, I have everything that is made out of glass in China. For example, all of my eating plates are here, all of the sets that I have, all of the mugs for coffee. Um, anything that is made out of glass and is breakable is stored inside of this cabinet. There was a small little place in between the wall and the cabinet that is storing all of my breakables. So I'm maximizing all of the space that I have in my kitchen. I have this little shelf here which is made out of metal. And as you could see, I am storing all of my bottled waters. I'm storing all of the soda bottles. And on the top, I have the microwave oven. Well, thanks for visiting me and I hope that my video has given you guys different types of kitchen organization ideas. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to give us a like and to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. You're free to share this video with your family and your friends and thanks for watching.